Hey guys, I felt like talking about some of the uh, the things that we grew up with back in the days. And the things, the way the people were back then. I'm a, a child born in, my, in the 70s. Not 70, but around that, that era. Um, and I remember that the people in the community used to help each other out. And I'm saying all over, not just in Puerto Rico, here in the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, between, between member, especially in the in, in, in New York areas. We are mixed people, Caucasian people, Orientals, Indian people, uh, uh, Latinos, African-Americans, all mixed. And as a child, you know, when my mom was doing good, you know, when she was all right in health and doing the right things in her mind, I remember that she used to send me to my neighbor's Anyone, no matter what nationality they were. Hey, go ask such and such and give me a cup. A coffee cup or something. Go ask such and such to give me a little bit of sugar. Go ask such and such to give me a little bit of salt. Go ask such and such to give me a little bit of milk. And likewise, they did to us. No matter what nationality, if you lived in the building, we knew each other, you lived in the block, you lived in the neighborhood. You know, you know how how much tuna casserole I ate from you from <laughs> from uh uh European people and white people? Family, man, like family. You understand? Tuna casserole, corned beef, uh corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> all types, man, all types of people. That's what I'm trying to get down to. We used to help each other out, no matter how poor we were. No matter how poor we were. What's the worst that could have happened when you knocked on the door, they said, I don't have it. Or I only got a little bit. Or no. That's the most that could have happened. We had this kind of love for each other. You know, it was different back in the days. You know, back in the days, we didn't grow up with so many toys. Yeah, they were, they were they had, but the poor didn't have that many toys. You know, if you had a friend that had a, a, an Atari or a ColecoVision or a Sega, you know, then that friend, you will go to their house and play the game. And, and the majority of the time, there'll be a lot of us because we all want to play. And that's how it was. We used to play with Matchbox. Now they call them Hot Wheels. Uh, I remember the um, plastic green bags of soldiers. We used to play that. I remember the baseball cards. We used to play with the baseball cards and regular cards. Um, I remember to make a quarter or two running errands for the people in the building, the elder people. You know, go to the store, buy me this, buy me that, they give you 10, 15 cents, a quarter, you know, things like that. I remember when our version of Tupperware was being used. Hey, <laughs> you say, and I know the guys or uh, the girls or the ladies that know what I'm talking about. Our version of Tupperware. <laughs> what it was. The peanut butter, the, 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 the butter container washed out after it was done. <laughs> Do 
the cookie jar didn't have no cookies in it. It was something else. You know, these days, the days that I looked at, it looked, it was like more, more innocent. It was like way more innocent. I remember when, when we used to drink Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid was a big thing. Kool-Aid. You didn't have no Kool-Aid, you wasn't nothing. <laughs> but you still needed sugar, because you had to <laughs> make it sweet. You know what I'm saying? Remember those days, you know? I remember that when my mom, she used to be a hairstylist. And my mom would teach some of the black girls how to cut hair and they would teach my mom how to braid different types of braids, like fish braids and all types of braids. And that was my mom, you know, she grew up in New York, you know, around the same people, but she learned that from them. And learning how to cook, bake macaroni and cheese, you know, my mom teaching them how to do rice and beans, you know, Puerto Rican style, you know what I'm saying? Things like this, you know, um, like I said, from Italian people to Polish people eating their food, you know, we like to have, we have friends. So we used to go to, to everybody's house and when their moms used to cook, most of the time, if there was enough, you would eat. And let me, let me tell you something, you ate whatever it was. You didn't complain. I don't like this, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Not like now. Now, if you don't give your, your child a certain type of food, they don't eat it. They don't like it. No. We we ate everything. We ate whatever we could. Whatever they gave us, we ate it. Simple as that. Um, it was so innocent. It was a so it was a time to me it was very innocent. It was very it was cool. I liked it a lot. Being raised in, at that that time. Um as far as being, you know, the young age, you know, like let's say two, three, four, five, six in Puerto Rico, seven, or even up to seven, I think. Uh, we made our own game. We made our own games. Because we didn't have no toys. All we had was country, river, animals, and seas you know, beaches and fruits galore. Like you couldn't, we used to come home so full of fruit that we used to get empachao. Empachao mean that you could even use the toilet after for a couple of days you was blocked off. Certain fruits did that to you. Like, you know, you sit down and you reminisce and you think about those days compared to now these days. You know, it didn't matter the status that you had. If you had, if you lived in a poor community or you had a, a better job than another family, like it wasn't frowned upon because the people still took care of each other the same way. These days, when you look at it, people see another person getting beat up or hit, well, the elderly, male, female, children, whatever, and just pull out a phone and just record them. They don't even bother, they don't even bother about calling the cops. That's another thing. I remember when my own eyes, plenty of times seen this. No woman could hit a man, no no man could hit a woman in the street and there be another man standing around and see it. Especially in New York. I witnessed this plenty of times. A man hitting a woman in the street Forget about it. That man either had to run 
or he had to fight with that other man or with those other men because they didn't take that. That's how it used to be. This thing about disrespecting elders, elder pe older people, they, they could be your grandma, great, great grandma, maybe your, even your mom. This back in the days, this was no joke. This wasn't something to play around with. People didn't take that lightly. You know? You know, you, you, you will be called out. They will go to your family's house. If they didn't grab you themselves. Because a lot of them will grab you by the ear. And bring you to your mom's house or your grandma's house. And tell them exactly what you did. And you would get a nice whooping. And if you had a father and he was working and he came home, then you better you, you best believe you would have got a second whooping. You know? These is how the days, that's how the days back then were ran. And people say, oh, that's child abuse. No, it all depends. You know, it all depends. But a lot of those people from my generation and before learned that way. And a lot of them became very good parents because they learned respect. You know, these days it's unbelievable the way we are living. You know, we get so used to the everyday life that we forget our surroundings, how we live. We forget to realize what's considered, you know, bad. What wasn't, what was not tolerated back then, now it's tolerable. Now it's not a big deal no more. You understand? They do it in social media all the time. You're watching a show and the show is programming you. You know? At first you didn't tolerate certain things that were on TV. But little by little, little by little, you kept watching it, you kept watching when you came to look at it. Now, what you didn't tolerate before, now you tolerate it. Now it's something normal to you. You know? This is programming. But back then, the only worst, the only bad thing that I could say about TV back in the days, well, my, 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 my years, was that they used to promote certain type of cigarettes. It's the only bad thing that I can remember. They used to promote cigarettes. And, uh, Wines and beer. That was some of the commercial. A lot of the commercials was of that type. Wine, beer, and tobacco. That's the the only thing that I could say that would be bad for people that really got addictive to to nicotine, you know. Um, and it harmed them. You understand? Um, other than that, you didn't see what you see now on television. You barely saw people in, in any bikinis, barely. You didn't see people doing the things that they do now in the movies and the shows, none of that. It was real, real different back then. It was more, what I was saying, more sano, more pure, more clean, you know? I'm just here talking with you guys a little bit, reminiscing on the things from back in the days. Uh, I remember when Chinese movies, and I know it, ha it was out before I was born, but when they really started getting, you know, into coming out, I think it was on the Saturdays or Sundays, all type of Chinese martial arts movies. You know, I even used to watch someone uh, with Jackie Chang in it before he started making movies here in the uh, American industry. The Drunken Master, you know, things like that. Uh, um, 
a lot of a lot of things. Bruce Lee, I used to love Bruce Lee. Uh, Chuck Norris, I used to love watching him. You know, even when he did that series, The Ranger, I used to watch it. Um, uh, um, what was the other one? Um, uh, Tenet, 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 Tenet. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> you got me saying, Andy Buggy, no, no, no. Knight Rider, Knight Rider. Wow. The actor, I forget his name, man. I used to know his name. I forget his name. He ended up be doing the, um, also the series, they used to be like, they come on a beach. I forget about it. Um, but even before that, Hawaii Five-0, Beretta, Starsky and Hutch, The Fonz, um, Happy Days, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, oh, uh, Three Stooges, um, 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 what was the two the the two guys that were they were they used to make uh man I forget there was two guys um the odd couple oh my god it's so much that you have fun watching back in the days on TV that was way better than what we have now really it was way better you know it was way better uh Bewitch uh was another one um, Silver Spoons, um, uh, uh, Good Times, um, uh, uh, this this other one that I used to watch all the time is he used to always call his his son-in-law a meathead. <laughs> a meathead. He was Polish. I forget about uh, Archie Bunker. Archie Bunker. Oh, what about um, the Honeymooners? Used to come out late at night. What about uh, uh, Nano Nano? Nano Nano. I forget what was it called. Uh, wow, was this famous actor man? Um, I'm not too good with the names of the actors, guys. You know, this is things that I grew up seeing because my mom used to watch it. So as your parents watch things, you also watch it also, and you get a accustomed to it and you remember certain things um and also the ones that you watched as a kid um what else did what else was so what, what, what was so great back in the days other than hanging out outside throwing stones at each other playing uh uh, uh hopscotch playing jumping jacks with the ball and the jacks playing with the marbles Playing with the tops. We used to take these tops from the chairs of school. We'd take the bottom of the, the chair, had a flat piece, and we would break that black piece off, that silver piece, and we would put candle wax on top of it, and we would sand them on the floor like that to make them nice and easy to slide, and we would play in the street, hitting them, flinging them with our fingers. Those are the good times. A lot of things that we did, they were they were, they were honest. They, they weren't... Um, Bad. They were very, very. They were very clean. Things that we did, uh, the uh, stuff that we watched, wasn't so controlling. Wasn't so programming. You know, you didn't. You know, it was nice. Guy, just talking a little bit here about stuff back in the days. Oh man, uh, our 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 basketball hoops were milk milk carts. The carts that brought the gallons of milk, we would cut the bottom out of a of a of one of those square gallon milk carts, and we would nail it on a street pole, and that would be our hoop to throw a ball for basketball. So many things we used to do, man. Go kart. We used to build go karts out of old big wheels and two by fours. And one would be in the back pushing, one sitting down, one moving it with the stick or with some rope and turning, going downhill. Oh, it was beautiful. I hope you guys have a great day once again. Uh, sometimes it's good to sit back and reminisce and think about your childhood, no matter how good, how bad. Look at the positive sides of the things and look at yourself, uh, how you have evolved and who have you become now did it teach you anything 
are you a better person? We all need work. We all need work. But are you a better person than what you were before? If you was in the wrong side of the team. Have a great day. Be safe, guys. God bless.